This video is presented by EA Game Changes and this is also not the final thing of the pack so yeah there might be changes when it's released. Hey hens how are we all diddly doing? How's everybody holding up? Welcome back to another video on Cottage Living. I think this is the most amount of videos I've ever done for an expansion or stuff or game pack ever but this is 100% my favourite expansion pack that has ever graced The Sims 4 and I am quite emotional that she's here actually but I also thought I'm gonna put you to the test bitch because I am English. Most people when they're first find me most people don't think that most people think i'm scottish or irish false false me name might be mcnamara but i'm not from the irish land i am actually from middlesbrough in the northeast of england but the northeast has a very different accent than the south and the northwest is very yeah we all have different accents basically you know you travel five miles down the road and you get a different experience but yeah i am english and where i live in middlesbrough it's a very industrialized town you go five minutes and you are in the open country yeah people when they had tuberculosis actually got sent up here for the clean air just away from the smog <laughs> we're known as smoggies but we also have clean air depends what direction you're looking in do you know what i mean but yeah i thought i would put my knowledge of england to the test give you a world overview and like compare it to my experience of being in england as well but my experience of being in england is going to be different than somebody else's because mine and for example stevo sims we have very different experiences of the uk because we live in different places so and Bob, you know what? I, I must look like I've been dropped on the head as a bear every single time I try and thingy this green screen up. But my, my chair gets caught on the fucking rug every time. Are we ready, kids? Aye, aye, Captain. I've also wore a jumper. This is like actual official Sims merch. I didn't get sent it. I bought it with my own money because I'm a big fan of camping. What's it called? I always want to call it Granite Falls, but the pack that Granite Falls came with is, is actually one of my favourite packs of all time, so... That's that. So the first one that we're going to go and see, I think we should go... Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I'll tell you what, we'll go to Old New Henford first because I'm actually the most acquainted with this one because that is where my current family, like for my Let's Play, live. By the time that you're watching this as well, I will have already finished my LP. So I really recommend you go watch it because I have a whale of a time. And also, everybody sent you thanks to Declan in the comments for editing. Like, I don't even know how many videos it's going to be now for editing a large amount of videos in a short amount of space. Thank you, Declan. So this is one of the worlds that is in Old New Henford. Old New Henford are going more deeply in my entire history of which might already be out or it might be out in the next couple of days but there is a lot of law that goes on here so definitely go check that one out as well but yeah basically this is a kind of a more built up area than Bramblewood but it's also close enough to the local amenities of the Finch Finch Brick Finchwood Finch Finch Wick there we go but it's got you know what I should do I'm going to send him a bed, right? And then we're just going to speed forward to in the morning. Or maybe a sunset. I'll get a nice little sunset. Because I can't be giving you a tour at night, you know what I mean? This, is, this isn't sad my show, no. The world doesn't come alive at night. Oh, we're getting the sunrise. We can watch the sunrise together. I've got to be honest, big brother, like, I don't think, I think I should leave the house. Oh, that's stunning. Oh, I levitated. Oh. Well, the views are absolutely aesthetically this for me is the most pleasing pack just for the world and you know how i feel about sims 4 worlds i much prefer the sims 3 because you can actually go places in the sims 3 like a lot of this is unrootable all of this is rootable like this you can swim in the water you can also gather the water there is a lot of places that you can go and it is very much just like a country walkway the bits that you can't go they do bother me a little bit because they're always going to because i prefer semi-open wilds or open worlds i am the most comfortable here because it does please me aesthetically the most oh look at them little cows <sighs> moving oh moving on it's all right anyway hello it is me i am stuck in the grass there's also a lot of cars in the surrounding areas which is there's like a lot of references to cars but basically this bit is just a kind of open bit but it is more built up like we have the bridges that are built up we've got lots of built up houses this is basically like your farmland area so it's rural but lived in where's the local park there is a local garden and thing somewhere oh no here it is there's a local park as well people will come and plant flowers in here so you can tend flowers from here and then each part of the world like each little district has this little sign where you can learn about the villages and read about the village fair as well and then over here there is a little park and i love this park because it actually includes toddlers in it which is a real groundbreaking thing for this game which i am very very thankful that they're here so yeah you've got that but a lot of it is just open space there is also a picnic area and a place for fishing but the atmosphere of this place is stunning and you can hear the birds singing 
So that is basically this little area. The place that I'm in is an empty lot. And then we also have this house over here. All of these houses have been built by game changers, I'm pretty sure. So I don't have any critiques because I 100% trust in the ability of game changers to make houses. But yeah, you've got that house there. Where are the others? It is quite hard to navigate because it's so open, but it does give you that like rural feel. This house is the Watson household. You can find out more about them in my entire history of as well. And then the Kang household should be about here somewhere. There it is. The Kang household is like this little renovated barn area that is pretty much everything that we have for this center uh do we move over to i'm gonna move over the bramble wood i like all of them so i didn't include this family in my entire history of because they're dead oh that's made me sad i'm gonna have to i'm gonna have to jump into the entire history of <laughs> Right, so in this area of the town, we have the, the married couple that were dead in my game, rest in peace uh, to their soul. But Bramblewood is basically like you're in the middle of a forest. Everywhere is covered by forest. I think this one is a rented property, which is nice. I like that there's more additions. The center of this area is this old place that was run by ancient druids. And then there's references to that with the, the fox and the rabbit there. So that's basically the center. And then there's bridges surrounding it all. It's also, it is quite difficult to navigate. Once again, I get lost every single fucking in time we also have the snail maze which i inappropriately call the snail trail again cars just parked up next to the gate we have the cordelia falls here and then a little cottage here as well nice little oh look at the little picnic table oh beautiful beautiful and then somewhere hidden amongst thorny brambles or maybe that one's the rented property actually it here it is the creature keepers cottage this one is really hidden and if you look in the wrong way it's quite hard to notice it but yeah the creature keeper cottage is literally out uh, somewhere out of shrek like it, it's pretty it's hidden he, he likes his privacy he likes what he knows and he knows what he, what he likes he also has a very pretty garden which he does tend to all the time and then in bramblewood you'll see a lot of things like this bopping about which is a wild rabbit home there is there's a wild bird home here somewhere as well. I think it's over the road. There's another rabbit one. There's the bird one. Yeah, there's a bird home over here. So you can talk to the rabbits and the birds if you come across them. There will also be foxes bopping about as well that you can try and make friends with. This is the big park area. I would have liked to have seen more in this park because there is, there is just a couple of benches. Like I think maybe like one thing for children wouldn't go amiss. But yeah, that's basically this area. There's a lot of law in it. You can also swim in the water here as well. I, I am glad that they've added so many, like so many options to swim in waters and things. And I like like these little additions well because these are things that you do come across in like the countryside just a tree as a bridge so i really like that and then finally we'll move over to finchwick which is the kind of the village square and this is also where the fair takes place and everything so that's where that is i am a big fan of the fair i don't think we'll be able to see it in action in this video but in my lp we see it in action a lot and i'm not very good at competing apparently but yeah this is where the competition always takes place and it kind of works the same as in city living where they have festivals and the festivals turn up and then once they finish they kind of dissolve away i didn't have any problems with them not dissolving away because i know that was an issue in san Machuno that the festivals just would not unappear i can't think of the word off the top of my head at the minute but yeah i haven't had that issue once with this and i'm glad that the kind of incorporating things because then it's almost a different experience every week when you come here so i'm happy for that we have the norms arms here which is a very very british pub like this is 100 percent it we also have lots of these phone boxes knocking about these aren't usable unfortunately i would have liked to have seen them usable but you know we only have mobile phones in the sims but i would have liked to have seen something oh my god oh imagine if it give you the ability to piss in the phone box which is mainly what phone boxes are used for now not legally not de facto not de jure, but de facto. And then this is the gnome's arm. So we have a very appropriate image of a gnome in front of it. It is a very British pub. We have the little lounge section over here. And then we have the footy area over here. So you can come and watch the football. Unisex toilet, which I do appreciate. And then we have the village centre. This is a well that Agnes Crumble bottom nearly threw somebody in. There she is right there. I'm only not interacting with her in this one because I have a again in the lp i do everything in the lp that is the like the flower garden shop and then this is the green grocers where you can buy your fruits and vegetables and there is a lot of new things that you can buy as well like flour sugar and everything and your ingredients and there is an option in this pack as well to only be able to cook things if you have the ingredients which is a challenge that i really like we have these shops over here and these are interactable in the sense that you can window shop so you can just like look at them it's a pretty empty interaction we 
we have a clothing shop here you can change outfits window shop and plan outfit and i do like that you know that we have more interactions and stuff like that but i, I would have liked to just be able to you know click buy bread or something because there's, there's bread in the window clothes i get because we don't really have clothes we i think we've got the appropriate kind of thing for for that shop i'm happy with the direction it's going in but i would have liked just maybe more options not like in depth but you know how we if you click on a festival stall or something you can buy t-shirts and stuff like festival t-shirts or something oh my god that you know what would have been really good actually a little gift shop because little country villages like this always have gift shops little magnets or something saying like henford on bagley or postcards or something they would be nice to buy in terms of the village square it's got cobblestones this is a, is very extra <laughs> this is a bit willow creek but i do like it but yeah the surrounding areas and everything even though you can't click on it it does look nice i, I will always say i do prefer open or semi-open worlds i do like the the fact that the houses as well there's three houses on this strip i think there's this one this one and this one and i do like that the kind of joined on i would like see if it was right to the edge i would have preferred that one but it must like there's another car lots of cars popping about it must have something to do with routing issues or something but I, w I would have really liked to have seen it extended to the end but that is being a bit nitpicky i'm willing to admit i do like how they're all next to each other and you got a really strong sense of like this is my space this is the next door neighbor's space this is my space because that is a very british thing we we actually don't have spaces the main thing that i'd say is unrealistic about these houses is that none of them like in the background none of them are really semi-detached but then again i'm guessing the people who live here are going to be rich and can afford a detached house it's not really the norm in england to have so many detached houses usually only if you're quite rich especially houses of this size that is an interesting build isn't it that's like the shambles my grandma told me that my, like my family on my grandma's side used to own the house in the shambles the one that's really close together where you can hold hands out of it and then i told my friends and then i told my grandma that i told my friends and my grandma's like i never said that yes you fucking did and now i've told my friends a lie that i thought was the fucking truth patricia from an english person's perspective people from not from england build in england i think they've done a very good job i am impressed they have captured the character quite well especially like the difference in the cobblestones and everything all of the different textures of the houses the thatched roofs oh my god i didn't even notice the graveyard yes we have a lot of graveyards the only thing that's missing and i was thinking about this last night but i think it, there's a good reason to have it missing is the local church for obvious reasons <laughs> i can 100 percent understand why that was potentially omitted yeah i really like it i, li I like what's been made here i think it's a realistic view in uh, the english world and honestly this is my favorite pack that's been released for the sims 4 I've recorded so many videos for this in the span of a couple of days from pure enjoyment and excitement. So yeah, that is everything that I have for you today. Literally no idea why I didn't record my outro, so I'm just going to reel over it. I hope you're all doing very well. It's 10 o'clock at night and I just got defeated in Fortnite, so I thought, fuck it, you're not winning. I'm editing, so therefore I've won. I've also bought a house. Um, that is an update. Please subscribe if you haven't already. I love you all and I'll see you next one.